I mean, Bokwari didn't know if that video was real or fake. But Bokwari saw the video. He said he saw the video where he couldn't believe it himself. And guess what he asked again? He said, he asked himself like, Gandhi J cannot ask somebody to collect it for him. He's collecting it himself and he's smiling. And he said, man, ah, that one was shocking though. So, which means he saw the video. It's not one video. It's about five or six videos on different occasions when they go there and go collect. They go again, they go collect. Changing Agbada and everything. You know? Bukwari saw it and he was honest. He was like, man, I saw it, man. But he started asking, I don't know what, which technology they use. Which technology? Papa, you saw it, Abi, you know, see him. Papa, somebody don't collect, Abi. Why don't you just be honest? That's when you get to know that uh, APC, Egbe Kekbe is a den of thieves. By the time Bokwari was done, Nigeria was bankrupt. I mean, you still see that today, don't you? Nigeria became bankrupt. Here is another governor who was a governor under Bokwari. His name is uh, Patawale from Zamfara. He was the guy who took gold to Bokwari that Zamfara had gold. How many of you remember this? And if you are from Zamfara State, do you know where this your gold is now? By one, Bashir Hadeja was in the state house to show President Muhammad Buhari bars of gold and other. Listen to me, oh. remember that Hadeja guy, the guy that just got arrested for terrorism. In fact, I'm going to add this video soon as well. But watch this. The guy that got arrested for terrorism now eh, was with Patawale when they went to go and present this bar of gold to Bokwari as Zamfara gold. That guy is a gun runner who, also, who is accused, right, of being involved in uh, the terrorist act that invaded Libya and attacked Libyan Central Bank and they looted the Libya Central Bank of their gold and every other thing they could get. He's been wanted. He's from Kaduna. However, this guy is a member of APC. Egbe Kegbe. He's uh, one of the terrorists or gun runner for terrorists in Zamfara. He was inside the asshole rock with Patawale. Now, Patawale is now the minister of defense in Nigeria. He's also the leader of the terrorists in Zamfara. Story here long ago. But me will call call use this one to remember. Then I'll tell you more. So that you can know how criminals are in charge. How a place that is being, you know, controlled by criminals and governments. How do you actually think you are going to make out a, a good leadership that will come and show and dream? Show and wine, mini. Let's go back to it. So, Adeja guy. Is part of this entourage. By one, Bashir Hadeja was in the state house to show President Muhammad Buhari bars of gold and other precious stones mined in the state. The products, he said, were acquired directly from artisanal miners as part of efforts to check illegal mining activities in the state. And some people from outside the country used to come to the state and buy gold and other precious stones from all these uh, small scale miners. I make my investigation, which make me to make the state government to be engaging the miners so that we shall be buying the goals from them so that we can, you know, block that uh, chain. I come to show him what the state government has already procured from the miners, from those people in the bush. So he has seen what we have. We have so many cages of gold in the forest. He's very happy with the system that uh, we initiated. And uh, he said, whatever support the state government needs, the private government, is ready to assist us. In fact, you have been given directives to the Minister of Solid Minerals to work with the state government. In fact, Governor Bello Mohammed said three days back, large deposits of gold have been discovered in the state and the villagers are trooping in thousands to the size for illegal mining activities. So I come to get some uh, advice from Mr. President on how best we are going to tackle the issue of this uh, illegal mining, which we have discussed, and he, he gave me all the support. And uh, in the next uh, few days, uh, the people of Zamprasta will see a lot of changes, particularly in the mining sector.
Discussions with the president also centered on, amongst others, how Zamfara State can benefit from the presidential artisanal gold mining initiative as well as the security situation in the state. Now you can be hearing all sorts kind of that masculine in the state because the security are doing their best. I equally advise Mr. President that those that are calling for second of security is not the solution. They should think of the best way to support the security so that they can perform better. The governor who commended the president for his intervention towards the restoration of normalcy in the state, however, maintained that governors have crucial roles to play in supporting efforts at securing lives and property of their people. From the State House, Adam Sambu, NTA. Mm -hmm. This is the guy behind Patawale as well as the Zampara Gold. His name is Bashir Adejia. He is a prominent member of the APC terror group from northern Nigeria. He is among those supplying weapons to these terrorists. And you know the sad story of Zampara. Let me tell you. In 2019, Batawale became their governor. And suddenly, Zamfara, an agrarian community, agrarian state, where majority of the residents are farmers, farming on their own uh, lands. Then Patawale became their governor. But before Patawale was uh, Yari, Yari was uh, APC, Egbekegbe too. Now that Yari was governor for eight years, he is considered to be the richest governor from northern Nigeria, and he didn't make his money from looting uh, Zamfara. It was actually selling the precious stones, mineral resources. This guy, as a governor of Zamfara, had his own uh, private jets. I mean jets, not one, not two. Dedicated into smuggling all these mineral resources, you know, out of, all of them, out of Zamfara, undetected. So when Patawale became governor, they needed to wage war against some of the sides that Yari's men were controlling, terrorists, armed terrorists as well. The governor has, this, that former governor has his own, he's a senator now, that Yari. So when Patawale became their governor, he brought his own team. But he couldn't really go take over where Yari established in Zamfara. You know, he just decided to go after the, the farmers. In a single year, they displaced more than one million people in the Zamfara alone. And God knows how many people they killed too, including farmers. And suddenly, farmlands turned to mining sites in Zamfara. And the governor of Zamfara State eh, sanctioned it. He said, the young people who are mining all this land Ignoring the people killed, the owners of the land, eh? at least they are engaged. So the state government will begin to collect the gold from them. That was what the birth of Zamfara gold. That's how it started. Now, the guy that uh, Patawale took to see Bokwari to present gold bars, reportedly from Zamfara. Eh? That same guy has now been arrested because he's also involved in the looting of the Libyan uh, Central Bank during the Libya Revolution. Yesterday, we spoke about him. This was his video. That time when he was, uh, you know, displaying his wealth. I think I also have a video of him making the same, I mean, making a deal, the gold bad deal. I'll go and try and see if I can put that up. That Adejia guy that is now being uh, paraded as a terror sponsor, gun runner. This was him displaying what is believed to be some of the looted gold bars from Libya Central Bank back then. One ton. In total, 24 carats. It's one kg. One kg. This is, in each box, we have 50 kg. One kg. 
here in each box 50 kg. In total, we have one ton. One ton. In total, 24 carat. It's one kg. One kg. This is in each box, we have 50 kg. One kg here. In each box, 50 kg. In total, we have one ton. I'm trying to kind of put up uh, that clip of me making a deal. Uh, let's see if I still get it. And I should do it. Please bear with me. The terrorist was inside the asshole rock. Now, immediately after Patawale left as governor, got defeated in 2023, that last year. Patawale retained all his own terrorists in Zamfara. That his own successor is not happy that, you know, even if you want to start in whole uh, mining, the, la the past two governors, they've almost like taken over the entire state. Mining, and nobody is seeing what they are mining. I think that's the clip, right? This is a DGI uh, again. In one of the periods, they are making deals about gold. That's right. That's the balance they have to take now. They are taking now. This is the one they are picking now. I'm in my house. I'm in my house. So, I'm coming back with I'm... Okay, I'm sending you the number now. I'll send it to you. Forward it to them. No, no, my. The number is there. No, my number. So that was himself and one of uh, those who are dealing in precious stones and all of that. Did you see it's gone, right? Okay. So these are dangerous people, just so you know. But they are dangerous because they are protected by criminals who have uh, gained access to government and power. And they can protect them. I don't know what went wrong. Bilo Turuji last week raised the alarm and said, for the second time in uh, two weeks, that Patawale has been funding terrorism in Zamfara. So people should know that, even though he's the, he's the Minister of Defense in Nigeria. In one of the Patawale's, uh, I'd, uh, no, how do you call this? Is that called steak houses? Well, in one of uh, the properties that, as a former governor of uh, Zamfara, in one of the steak houses where people believe that sometimes these terrorists, they do camp there and under the protection of a Patawale somewhere in Kaduna. If you, are, if you know where this is in Kaduna, this property is owned by Patawale, confirmed already by the people in the know. Not to give too much location. If you are not from uh, Kaduna, don't worry yourself. Let Kaduna people who knows. Eh? Say, oh, I've been seeing this. Oh, it was uh, so Nakwatawale they construct this building here. Yes, now 
They don't want their stuffs to be in Zamfara, the place they have already raised army of terrorists. Zamfara is like their own graveyard, like many other states. You know, like uh, many other states in Nigeria are to the uh, to your criminal politicians, just graveyards where they just go and take something and then they take it somewhere else, right? So talking about taking and taking things to somewhere else, you know, Tifnumbu was planning to buy himself a private jet or he bought himself a private jet that they are currently, uh, you know, they are currently trying to uh, customize it in Paris, but something happened today. Hmm? I'm gonna look. Mm. Okay, I'll leave it. I'm just trying to observe something that popped up on my screen, so I don't want anything that's gonna sort of a trunk, you know, uh, disrupt what we are doing here. So the news came that Ogun State's Ogun State's government. They breached a gentleman, I mean, gentleman agreement between themselves and uh, a Chinese firm, Shangzhou. Don't ask me to say that again, okay? I struggled to pronounce that this afternoon. So in 2016, they signed a deal with the uh, Binga, Bewiri Daniel as government. I think we're back in, I don't know. So Amosun came, and after six years, Amosun terminated whatever was the arrangement because they had this export processing plant in Ogun State. There was a place called, uh, uh, you know, uh, Ogun Free Trade Zone. I think uh, one is in Igbesa, in our local Ade Igbesa, you know. So allowing them to process whatever it is they are buying from Nigeria and they want to export to their country and that's how they make their money. So they invested in that plant and suddenly uh, they were supposed to be running that plant or the contract was supposed to run for certain years. So before then, State government terminated that. So they went to court in Nigeria. Nigerian court played them. So they took it to UK. UK courts now uh, ordered Nigeria, State and Nigeria. In fact, they sued Nigeria. That's because that idea, I mean, sorry, that deal was between Nigeria and China. And the, all these states that created free trade zone, right? These Chinese will move there. And whatever they do there is like uh, protected by the free trade zone law, blah, blah, blah. If you understand, okay? So it's still the federal government of Nigeria. And they actually took the federal government of Nigeria to court. And Ogun State government, I heard. And the, the court, arbitra, court of arbitration in the UK ruled in the favor of that uh, Shang Tsung's uh, company. And they said that, okay, since your contract has been terminated, this or that, uh, before time, then you are, you, you are due for a compensation of 74.4 million uh, euro. And this was back in 2021. Three years ago. There was no response. There was no nothing. A lot of us didn't even hear about it until yesterday. And like a thunderbolt, everybody was like, hey, they don't. People are sending me messages, screenshots. My ego, even like I said, they don't discover cocaine for Tifnumbu's uh, plane. No. They have confiscated Tifnumbu's plane. No. I say, I say, hey, calm down. Which one be say? Maybe yesterday you were talking about Tifnumbu's uh, entourage and then drug smuggling. That maybe one day, one day they go tell us they don't, they don't, uh, Confiscate if Numbu's plane somewhere because drug deal. He said, no, 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 don't, don't, don't complicate your things, okay? Now, BC, because of BC. And according to what we heard, they said the US Appeal Court has also uh, backed this Chinese company. Now, here, yeah. in 2021, the UK court said Nigeria should pay this company to cover their losses on their investments in Nigeria. Which is a thing, right? Anyway, Nigeria ignored until yesterday when a French court ruled that Tifnumbu said uh, new toys that they are still trying to help him uh, customize in France. What's Besele? You know what is uh, Besele? Besele means it simply means that. Uh, uh, the government has claimed it for the creditor, person with Nigeria, whole money. How is that even possible? 
There are currently three aircraft from the government of Nigeria in France. On my way to waiting three planes they do for France, right? Okay. They bought bra I mean they bought two uh Tokumba planes, right? They are refurbishing that or customizing that. Now, who owned the third one? The Senate government of Nigeria. Who owns the one that uh, Kolu uh, flew to um, Malabo in uh, Guinea Conakry? Okay, so they were lying to you. All right. Anyway, so they said that uh, because of this debt, anywhere where they see Nigeria property, any property linked to Nigeria in any part of the world, this company, they have the right to take them until they. Until they, I mean, sorry, they make uh, all of that uh, compensation money back. So, Gun State government, I've been now Gun State people, can say, sorry, you, sorry, you, everybody, for the embarrassment, you. The here is their story. We natural, naturally regret any embarrassment this has caused the federal government of Nigeria. It's a uh, dumb sex, uh, <laughs> sorry. Anyway. President Ashiwa Jubola Tifnumbu and the good people of Ogu State and reaffirm our commitment to constantly and consistently protect the integrity of the nation, Shengbowiri, and its assets. We have taken all necessary legal steps to ensure that this spurious and baseless order is vacated within the shortest possible time. As a sovereign nation whose assets are protected by laws of sovereign immunity, <laughs> immunity. We vow to resist any attempts at blackmail and theatrics clearly designed to extort and embarrass our dear country. So this Chinese company wants to extort our dear country. It is important to note that Ogun State never gave up on a reasonable settlement option. With the most recent letter sent to Zhongshan last week, they said they sent a letter. To, the, to, to these people last week that they are ready to settle out of call. That's 2021, oh. Unfortunately, Zhongshan only responded after obtaining this latest order. A reasonable and objectively quantifiable settlement figure has always been our preference. <laughs> they might go reasonable and objectively quantifiable. So they are now saying that they, they get money to offer them instead of the 70 something million. Okay and continues to be an option in the resolution of this protracted dispute. We re we, you know, the nice said the whole money. Are you with me? He said, dubious dark ball, and the person who wrote that, they said, this Chinese company just want to embarrass us. We wrote them last week to say, come on, we'll give you money. Okay? He didn't mention any money, right? He said, we'll give you money. So if you... Or more, that's 2021. Dubious Duck was said they wrote them last week. Last week. That these guys didn't answer them. So that means Dubious Duck and and Ogun State government, they are aware that uh, these claimants uh, instituted a case in France, in Paris, and they don't tell anybody. I you go go. Eh? Like they are aware that. This person, oh, this Shangzhan, oh, they have instituted a case of claim against the properties of Nigeria in France. They were, they were aware. They didn't tell anybody. Say, oh, no, go France, oh. And so they go there. You see, now so they go they pick some of you up. By the time the Nigeria BC entered the what they call the journey of no return, the Nigeria, the BC of Nigeria. Then generation cannot pay up. You know that Nigeria's debt, there are some of them that they have to repay back in 100 years. Even, even though you are dead, anything where you produce, anything that come out of you, Omar Sonuk, we say Nigeria. You get that one? And if all this generation, now that they are creating poor, poor Nigerians, weaponizing poverty, our children, only Jory Titi Lotimamelo mini Toki, you go say the for uh, connecting flights, eh? Lagos to Turkey, Turkey to to Syria. Only lost Syria for holiday. You won't do stopover for Turkey. We be to make Bangladesh and soon any China. 
on your slave camp. Kini moshe, kini moshe. They go tell you, dear, say, you are, you are inmate number 322,000. We don't capture 320,000 of you. You are 321,000. That's your tag. What I do, say, you are paying the debt of your grandparent who died in year 2061. This is year 2105. In year 2105, you go see some of your children. They go capture, you see? I'm going to school in there. Uh, I'm going on. Uh, I just got admission in Sweden. Sweden, Bolonlo. You can't do stop over in Germany. Oh, the rush. Oh, oh, the Shen Zoom. I want to look at my creative. Colony. Colony of African debt or collateral. Oh, my chef. A lot of people will be there. So, what you are making today, all these things that some of you are supporting today, you have no idea the implication of that in the future. Play long and say, Nigeria no go get anything where they go collect again. To this stage, you come. Immunity. You, you are a debt to so on immunity. Like, what, what is all this? She beggar, they get choice in it. You guys are there. Like, it means something new. I won't be here at that time. 